Go ahead and start uh, in the main car, two car garage. That's where your uh, water heater is located. What I did see there, the uh, draft hood vent on top of the unit has four legs that are anchored to the top and two out of the four are popped off. Okay. <clears throat> they need to be reapplied there, so it's uh, got four grounded uh, legs there. No issues with any of the uh, operators for your garage. Both garage doors are working properly. In the utility sink, the actual faucet, when you turn it on and, and move the faucet back and forth to swivel, it starts to leak water out of the control knob. Master closet doors, I just recommend getting some floor guides installed there. No structural issues with the attic space or any of your trusses. Uh, it appears to be nice and dry up there. I did see one, two, three, I think four or three uh, passive vents that were uh, roof vents that were covered. So I don't know if you may ask the uh, owner of the house why they did that. Typically they're there for ventilation. They did it from the inside? Outside. So you will, if you go outside, you can see them on the roof. Two, you can see from the back, one on this side and one on the left of the two car garage. And was there any concern with moisture up the, in the attic? I didn't see anything. I went right up to the covered okay. uh, vent and no moisture intrusion there. So I don't know, maybe because it is the uh, upper foothills, it does get really windy and that may cause either dirt or whistling to occur. Okay. So you may want to ask the owner. All the uh, furnace things I'm going to leave for the furnace guy. I'm going to put my own notes there. Uh, but there's rust on that drain pan, uh, upward slope on one of the condensate drain pipes. Um, <clears throat> and there's uh, where you have your evaporative coil versus your air handler itself. Uh, we have a splice that is loose with the aluminum tape there. Um, it's just further evaluated, it needs to be further evaluated by that uh, HVAC and repaired. Um, both toilets, so we have master and hall bath toilets, they both leak when you flush it at the reservoir tank. Easy fix. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. And then the uh, hall bath toilet is also loose on the floor. Okay. I'm going to identify every single one because it's not all the, the uh, windows. Uh, but most windows, uh, they're starting to uh, have failing glazing. Uh, so it's starting to pull away from the double adhesive tape. Uh, and in some areas, it's quite a bit of movement that you're starting to get. So definitely get that checked out. Okay. Uh, I counted two windows that are broken. Uh, one here at your dining room area here and one in the, it's gonna be your north bedroom near the single car garage. You're talking about broken seals? No, there's broken glass. That left window. Oh, yeah, there. I see it. I see it. And okay. then the window in okay. that bedroom. Okay. Okay. As soon as you walk in, you're missing a fire sprinkler cover. The owner has made a hole from wall to wall to possibly get some more power cordage there. Uh, no issues with your fireplace, it all works great. The dishwasher, when it drains, it actually drains out of the air gap. So there's a possible clog or obstruction in those tubing uh, areas there from uh, garbage disposal to dishwasher when it drains into the garbage. Left cabinet, just left of your microwave, we have an open junction box inside of one of those cabinets. And it's because they connected a couple LEDs, uh, lights underneath the cabinetry. Uh, but there shouldn't be anything exposed. Uh, it should be in a junction box. Underneath your sink, we have a corrugated uh, drain piece. Uh, they installed this one here because it's probably the easiest drain pieces to install. Yep. Uh, and to manipulate any turn you need. Uh, but over time, because it is a garbage disposal, it does have food debris and it will start to build up. That can cause an obstruction there. So I just recommend getting a straight drain piece installed. Okay, both upper and lower ovens work, but the, uh, one of the, the lower one is missing a light bulb and the upper light bulb is out. Okay. Okay, so we have, looks like 
almost like a Jack and Jill bedroom. They, once upon a time, they used to join at the closets. And so it looks like they've added sheetrock to enclose that. Right. And so this, I'm just going to note the rough patch job that they've done and also the loose baseboards along the floor. Yep. <clears throat> That north bedroom near that car garage, a single car garage, uh, we're missing a smoke detector. And like I said, that window is broken in there. Hall bath drips at the tub when you shut it. And like I said, a leak out of that reservoir tank when you flush. Okay. We have probably a handful of cracked tiles. Uh, so definitely get those replaced just because um, some of them were broken in different pieces and they're eventually going to start to move on you. So probably from the wind, right? Yep, for sure. And also moisture, uh, snow, freezing, all of that will have oh, an And we're not, and again, you said there's no moisture in the attic. Nope. So we're not, there's not really leaking, but nope. they just, okay. No, so that's the first defense. That's your first covering. And then underneath we have your underlayment, which will also protect that. So there's no issues there, but eventually we'll have moisture seepage if you leave it alone. And I also did see a few uh, loose or slipping uh, tiles as well. These are the covers that I'm talking about over the... Got it. Yep. Okay. And they probably just need to be taken off, right? I would. Over the garage. So you have the garage, single, you know, the main car garage versus the master where you transition the roof. Can you see all the waves there? Yep, yep. So we have a little bit of a humping, uh, hump situation there. Um, definitely get that checked out. I couldn't get that far into that area. Uh, so just get those trusses uh, checked out there. And then the cracks that I'm talking about are like this and chipping. Okay. So that area you can, of humping, you can see it in the, from the front? What's that? Where it's like this. If I roll that would be on the left side of the house. It would be the left side of the garage versus uh, well, the whole full side of the garage. So Got if it. you look right over it, you can see it where the garage meets the master okay. because it's continuous roof there. Okay, we have a lattice style uh, pergola style cover in the front courtyard. You can't see it, but on, on top we have a lot of loose popped nails and also it's weathered so it's uh, exposed all the wood so it's going to rot and start to twist on you if you don't And it's it. all exposed? Yeah. Okay. Front entry, front at the uh, courtyard, left side we have a downspout that's missing a 90 degree diverter to push the water away. The left side of the garage, the main car garage uh, foundation, we have a little bit of spalling, so I would recommend getting after that just sealing it and recoating it where it needs it. Okay. Okay. We have a couple areas, right side and rear of home, where the uh, DG sand has been pulled up against the stucco, and I just recommend removing all of that built up against it so it drains properly. Couple cracks, small little uh, minute cracks along the bottom corners of your stucco, along the window corners. And this is due to expansion and contraction, but it's very minute. Okay, the uh, AC condenser unit uh, requires, I think it was a, what was it? Let's see, it requires, A 45 amp breaker, but at the service panel it has a 50 amp breaker, so it's 10 amps over. So now, if the condenser unit starts to overheat, it should send a surge to that breaker to pop or trip uh, before it takes the life. This, by having a 50, it's going to overheat if there's an issue and it will hit its peak if, uh, and it won't uh, trip the breaker costing the life of that unit if it ever does. So it needs a breaker. Change it out so it has that uh, safety or uh, measure there so it trips it if it needs to be tripped. <clears throat> okay. 
And I believe that's going to be it, folks. A little bit of spalling in front of the single car garage and the slab. There's two little slab areas there. Just get after it, seal it up. And yeah. Um, let's, can we talk about the fire suppression system? Yes. And it, is that because we're located up here quite a ways away from the fire station? Is that why they require that? Yes, yes. Um, and because it's a foothill, so there's that high wind potential there. Yep. Um, and definitely because you also have concrete tiles. So embers get pushed in and they can be sucked up into underneath the tiles. They're not solid. Uh, they're not tight. Right. Um, and so that's probably why they have to have these. Right. And they should be regularly serviced or right. checked. Um, and by opening up the, uh, I think it's going to be right there, that box right. Uh, in the hallway, okay. uh, you'll be able to see when was the last time it was serviced or checked. So okay. there should be a log. Cool. Thanks, Jorge. Okay. Yeah. Okay.